Welcome to the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I am your host, Maria Wingard. Today is a Red Tent conversation where we are continuing with part six in our interview with Miss Julia, and we are discussing spiritual mentors. I'm going to tell you, I just got to thinking about this, and I had not thought about it in uh, terms of spiritual mamas. I just always call them mentors. There was a couple at a church I went to, and uh, oh, what sweet Christians they were. And Ruth was not, um, she was very ladylike, and, but she was just no nonsense, and I'm just all over the place. And when I'm thinking, whether it's reading the Bible or anything, I'm just all over the place. I'm just like popcorn in a skillet without <laughs> lid. I'm just everywhere. <laughs> so is Maria. I am. Way. That's why I laughed. That's why we get along so well, because we just pop <clears throat> each other's popcorn. <laughs> so <laughs> I was in a prayer group with them, <clears throat> but no one was coming. And it was most of the time just me and them. And they it was one on two. And um, I would read a scripture, and boy, I'm out there in the ozone with it. And what does this mean? And what did Paul mean? And why did Paul say it like that? And I just could kick old Paul right in the shin about women in ministry and that sort of thing. And Ruth had three words she would say to me every time we met over something because I would be going ozone and she would say Julia get your eyes on Jesus Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'd say yes ma'am and I'd settle down (laughs) get out of the weeds get out of the ozone (laughs) that's it (laughs) and I think about that now she is in heaven now and so is John. And but those words, I'll get tickled sometime when I get out in the ozone and I'll hear a whisper. Rain it in, girl. Right. <laughs> and uh, that was truly uh, I never thought about red tent experiences. But if we hadn't been if there had been 12 of us in that room, Ruth would probably have not looked me straight in the eye and said, snap out of it, girl. Right, right. All we need is Jesus. Yes. We don't have to overwork it. We don't have to put our energy in it. Oh. He's got our back. You know, that just, it reminds me, pulling back into that witchcraft conversation of Elijah and the priests of Baal and how they were whipping themselves into a frenzy and they were doing all of these things. And I, the older I get, the simplicity of Jesus strikes me. And this week we've talked about that a lot. A lot, a lot of just how simple Jesus is, how simple the gospel is. And all of these, these, frequencies and tuning forks and getting things just right that's just nothing but the priests of Baal getting things just right so that their god will answer with fire right and does does Baal answer with fire sometimes mm-hmm. yeah yes he did otherwise they wouldn't have been doing mm-hmm. it but they had seen it happen they had had the magicians throw like Moses the snake I was just on the ground that. yeah you know but yes. but god yes. but god God will allow some things to happen and we don't know why that that is, but there comes a point where he says enough is enough Mm -hmm. and he shuts the mouth of Baal and he answers with fire. Even after you pour precious water on the, on the wood, Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I remember this one time and I was just worshiping God and it was, it was like when there is no sacrifice, I will be the sacrifice. I will climb upon that altar and I will pour water on the wood, answer with fire, answer with holy fire, Mm -hmm. answer with holy fire. When I feel like I'm drowning, when they're dumping the water on me 
And I'm, I will cling to this altar, to this mercy seat. Yes. But I will not whip myself in a frenzy like those priests of Baal. Mm-hmm. It's Jesus. Absolutely. You are holy. Yes. Jesus, you are worthy. Yes. To the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I will bow my knee to no other. To yes. no other. You know? And it's like, I, I will not be tempted to do all of those practices. They may look sexy and attractive and, oh, look, we're grounding and we're worshiping the God of Abraham. No, it's mixture. Mm-hmm. It's mixture. You're getting something from a created item to touch you spiritually. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's different when you're dealing with physical things and, and yeah, Luke was in the Bible, but God even says for physical things, we seek him for healing. Right. And I'm not one of those people that, that doesn't believe in going to doctors or stuff like that. So I'm clarifying because you always have to have a disclaimer, Miss Julia, when That's you're on, right. when you're talking on live, right? Always got to have a disclaimer. So yes, I believe in, in doctors and yes, I believe in those kind of things. But I also believe that God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is my healer. That's right. And the son of his divine impartation here to earth where he came and he lived human but showed us how we can live supernatural as human and heal and set people free from demonic bondage. I believe those things are for today, you know, and, and, and just for those people who think that I might not believe in those things, I believe in the supernatural. Yes. I have experienced it. I have seen it with my own eyes and I'm not window licking crazy, you know, I have seen those things because I believe in the supernatural, but there's a line that we do not cross. We do not operate with all of the devil in the details, worship of Baal. We don't have to do all of those things. We simply have to show up without a coat, Mm -hmm. without gold or silver, Mm -hmm. without a bag, without extra sandals. Mm Mm-hmm. And God will show up. We show up like Elijah with none of that. And then on top of it, pour our water on the fire and say, answer God, show him who's boss. And God answers as we wait. Yes, he does. So, Miss Julia, I know I've held you captive on this mic much longer than you probably wanted. <laughs> who held who? <laughs> <captive>? <laughs> What would be something if it was, if it was your last, last conversation to be able to share a nugget of wisdom with somebody that you felt would be something you'd want to share? Now we know you're going to have many more of those, but with an audience like this, your last nugget of knowledge that you'd want to give today. Well, we've talked about this and it is... A rephrasing of Ruth's, keep your eyes on Jesus. Mm. And you have said it many times, seek the creator, not the creation. Our world, uh, there are tiny altars everywhere. Yes. That's a book that was written, the name of a book that was written in Alexandria, Louisiana. And But there's some wisdom in that, too. And... Um, we we have in our culture so many false gods. It can even be a TV. You know, each person, there's something they don't want to give up. Mm, mm, and mm. so seeking God Almighty, not what he does, but for who he is. That he, there's none like him. He is God Almighty. He is the creator that he spoke everything into being. And it's not what he does, but who he is right. that we need to seek. Right. Because we can get so pulled into the ozone, as you yes. say, or pulled into the weeds. Um, 
when we're seeking supernatural experiences above the creator of those experiences. Yes. We can so be led astray by an angel of light. Bible says even the elect can be led astray. Absolutely. You know, so to be so prideful as to state, oh, God will keep me. You know, no, no. God expects us to keep ourselves. He expects us. What was that us. scripture? As, um, as wily as snakes oh, yeah, and was, gentle as doves. Matthew, Ch- see, you brought it right. It's right there. Yep. Be as, as wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. Yeah. We have to understand how cunning Satan is and not fall for his tactics. That's it. God expects us to keep ourselves just like Jesus did. And to remember, he's the great counterfeiter. Yes. And so everything that we hold dear in our worship, he can do something that so mirrors it that we just have to always watch. Everything we do, we're human. And we're given to mistakes. I am grateful you decided to come walk a mile with me, your host, Maria Wingard, on the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast for our Red Tent Conversations to find out how Jesus bridges broken to breakthrough and to listen to past episodes. Please visit hopewillarise.com. And thanks for listening today.